Hi guys, Latecom here, and in today's video, we are going to be starting a brand new account, and I plan on making this brand new account go from zero all the way up to 40,000 power rank and beyond with earning as little mastery level as possible. So right off the bat, as we can see right here, it asks us to pick our starting class. Now, for beginners, usually it would be the Tomb Raider being one of the best starting classes, but I would say I would go for the Boon Ranger just because of its longevity in the long run and based off of how he actually got a really, really good update in the past couple of months. So we are going to be choosing the Boomer Ranger right here. So honestly, I don't really need the tutorial. If you're a brand new player, you can feel free to play through the tutorial. But what I just do is press escape and exit the tutorial right off the bat. Now, you cannot avoid the fact that you will gain a lot of mastery just by leveling up your class to level 30. And of course, what I'm not going to do is to get the free starter class or the Mount Bounding Bun K because this actually gives me 50 total mastery and I believe you get like 10 points from a style from your brand new class. So I'm not going to unlock the class at all. So we're only going to be playing one single class on this account, which is going to be rather interesting. So let's just go on ahead and start with this brand new quest. We did get a couple of qubits. Now we're going to have to enter a medieval highlands world. So heading on over into this first dungeon, of course, um, we're just going to use the normal attacks and whatnot. Boom, boom. And that is going to be our first dungeon. We are halfway through level four. We did pick up some stuff. I guess I'm just going to wear these for now. Okay, this is going to be the second dungeon done. We are really, really close to hitting level five. I guess one more mob and then we should be there. Let's just kill this one more mob. So that we get to level 5. Okay, there we go. Let's head on over back into the hub to go into the next quest. Okay, so now it's going to ask us to talk to Cubely in the hub. Going to just do this right here. There we go. We did get like a little bit of XP there, which is kind of sad. That's like 5 XP. Um, I don't think I gained XP from that, which is kind of sad as well. Okay, no XP from all of that. But now we can head on over into a permafrost world. Now, as I was saying, I can't get a brand new mount because all of them give you a lot of mastery. So we're just going to have to stick with the slow Sebastian and the neophyte wings for now until we do get like something much faster. So we're going to have to use the rally blade. Hopefully it gives us some XP. Yes, it did give us some XP and now we are apparently leeching off some guy, but shamelessly doing it once again because brand new players, no one really knows who you are. So let's just go on ahead and kill this boss with our newly garnered number 2 skill and number 1 skill. There we go, we did reach total mastery rank 4. And we did get some brand new stuff. We have an epic bow, we have a rare face, we have a rare melee. I, I think I'm just gonna use a bow for now. Two hours later. Okay, there we go. That's the quest done and we are 98%. So I... I'm, I'm just going to kill a few mobs. I did get a new hat, so that's going to increase my PR by like a little bit more. There we go. That's going to make us level 7. And we have reached mastery level 5. Wow. Okay. Ooh, we did gain quite a lot of XP there, which is really, really nice. Now, access the adventure board. There we go. Almost level 8 now. It's going to ask us to... Check the welcome board. There we go. Level 8 Boomer Ranger for now. We did get a box and some adventuring. Let's head on over into a Cursed Veil vale world and complete six more dungeons to complete this quest. Okay, there we go. Talk to an adventure agent. Boom. Okay, let's accept this little quest right here. Let's do six more dungeons and we can call it a day for this quest, I guess. Okay, that's going to put us at 77%. We have completed the quest and we got a new bow. That's going to give us some, yeah, some better stats. It's going to ask us to mine Shapestone. So we're just going to mine the stuff and get as much XP as possible. There we go. That's going to not give us XP, which is kind of sad. Let's head on over into the crafter's corner. This is the point where you can actually start crafting rings and stuff. So we're just going to try our best to get there. Okay, meet me in the crafter's corner in the hub. As usual, moving very, very slowly on this slow Sebastian mount. Moving into this northwest side of the hub. There we go. We've reached level 9, which is Pog. 
we've got a little bit of flux. It's going to ask us to craft a ring. Now I'm going to craft a ring that gives me physical damage because Boomeranger is going to be a physical damage class. If you didn't know, you just hit on over onto its weapon and it's going to say physical or magic damage. So Boomeranger is going to be a physical damage class. Let's just go on ahead and craft this box. It's going to give us some more XP right there. It's going to open this box and it's going to give us some jump. Nice. I do need jumps. Okay, there we go. We've just hit level 10. We've reached mastery rank level 6. And it's going to ask us to queue up for a delve. Okay, so now we're going to have to head on over into a delve. We're just going to queue up. Okay, we have finally entered a delve with a couple of other people. So we're just going to have to kill the Wild Fae mini boss. We did spawn in depth 12. I think that is manageable for us at this point with this amount of power rank. Okay, I think the boss should be in this room because we do see a lot of these poles. Okay, it is going to be here. Let's just try our best to kill the boss. Oh, it actually did die in like two shots. So that's kind of cool. Let's try to kill the boss. Hopefully we can. Yep, we can. And there we go. That is the quest done. I did get a memento, but I'm sorry. I'm going to have to trash you. So for this decide your own adventure thing, I'm going to start off with the Gemsley quest, of course, because it's going to give a lot of power rank later on. So it's going to ask us to find Gemsley in the Trove Hub. So I think it's going to be highlighted in purple. Yep, we can see it all the way at the end right there. So let's just head on over and see what we have to do to get more PR. Okay, Gemsley is there. We have gotten our one day patron pass, which has been automatically used. Now it's going to ask us to find gem boxes in adventure worlds. So I'm going to head on over into Uber One Fae Forest and get five gem boxes. And from there, we can get something good, I guess. Okay, there we go. That is our fifth box. And why did I just equip all of these? Okay. So now with that being said, we have gotten some water gem dust. It's going to ask us to open up a gem box. So boom, that's going to put us really, really close to level 12. Now we have got a free locked water gem box. So let's just open this with this golden key that we have gotten. And damn, we got an arcane water gem. Seriously? An arcane water gem basically gives us magic damage instead of physical damage, which is just basically useless on this class that we have right here. But nevertheless, this is our only choice for now. So we will have to bear with it as of right now. It's going to ask us to upgrade your gem. There we go. Uh, maximum health, maximum health magic damage. This gem is pretty much useless on the Boomeranger as of right now. Uh, we did get a stun burst gem, so we're just going to have to open up the gem tab again, and we will be able to get a physical damage gem. Nice. There we go. I'm going to socket this on, and I guess I'm going to upgrade this one more. Okay, we did get some critical hit. We will need critical hit right now because we are only at a measly 5% critical hit. Now, you want the critical hit to be 100% at max so that you can crit your hits every single shot okay there we go we did get some additional xp just by entering this um world but apparently now we have to farm some water gem boxes and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pick up this quest so that we can actually collect five boxes while collecting the 15 we do get some adventurine as well as some xp and boom so that's going to be our 15th box and we are really really close to level 15 right now we did get an air gem. Now let's just see. Okay, okay, this is good. This is good. We have critical damage and physical damage, but I would have preferred critical hit instead of maximum health though. But I guess it's going to allow us to survive more in higher Ubers, so I don't mind that for now. So we're at 2370 power rank. Let's um work on some air gem boxes as well. Okay, as usual, we have to pick the collect air gem box quest. So that we can increase our level as much as possible. Okay, so I think this will be our last dungeon to complete this air gem quest. Which is good, because I've been farming this world for like 15 minutes now. Which is really, really boring. Okay, that's gonna be our 15th box. And bam! We have finally completed this quest. Let's head on over into the Shadow Tower Entrance Portal. Okay, next up is gonna ask us to talk to the Shadowy Market. So there we go, we've just hit 
level 17 apparently and we have gotten a spirit surge and a lunar soul nice 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 so let's just equip this see where it's gonna lead us to um i only have 138 flux which is sad let's open up the rest of these I need more flux. Please give me more flux. Okay, nice. We got quite a number of flux there. Level 5? Oh my god, maximum health. Really? Level 10? Oh wait, I should upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, I ran out of gem dust. But we're at 3,500 PR right now. Okay, you know what? I'm going to complete a couple of these adventures. We're going to start with Desert, Frontier, and Kandoria. Okay, in Kandoria, we're going to pick the Mine, Formicide, Ore. Okay, in Desert, Frontier, we're going to pick the Mine, Shape, Stone, Ore. So we're going to be picking the Gather, Fairy, Dust, or Enchanted Wood. And we're going to head on over into the Drowned World and go into Uber 7, which is the one that we can enter the deepest. Oh wait, that's the 9th and the 10th, and we have hit level 18 Boomer Ranger, which is nice. Okay, what I'm gonna do in Dragonfire Peaks is I'm gonna pick up the Bleach Bones quest, and we're gonna head on over into the Igneous Islands world to do the same as we did in the other world. Okay, and this is going to be the 10th one, and there we go. That was 68,250 XP. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be picking up this firebox quest so that we can complete this and at the same time gain some XP and also get the quest done that we can see right here, the complete adventures quest. That's the boss done, and that's the chest done, and we have reached level 19 and a half, which is wow really really nice we've gotten a brand new fire gem as i've said we're going to be getting some additional free gems no it is magic damage but at least we have critical hit on it but our goal is to try to reach 5000 pr no matter what next thing is going to ask us to do is to get to level 20 and it's going to give us an explosive epilogue so we're going to get really close to the next level right here we're at 62 percent we need another 60,000 xp okay so now in the permafrost world let's get the gather glacial shards quest and let's head on over into sundered uplands hopefully we will be able to see a permafrost area in the sundered uplands there we go we have got um, a little biome of permafrost down below now that is one that we have um, that will give us two glacial shards. Okay, that's another two. And hopefully, there we go. We just reached level 20. So once we actually hit Trove Mastery 20, we can sell these for quite a decent bit of flux in the marketplace. So with that being said, we can now equip our first ally, which will grant us five measly power rank, but PR is PR. Now it's going to give us another explosive epilogue right here, which has the perfect... I wouldn't say truly perfect but the best stats for now right except for maximum health that could have been critical damage but i'll take this i'll take this really really good gem it's gonna start off with three stars which is really really good now we can start upgrading this gem to reach 4942 4957 let's just use this yeah no way am i going to craft the gem forge that is such a waste of time what you could possibly do i think is to find someone's cornerstone and use their gem forge okay now it asks us to forge our gem now i'm going to forge this gem oh my god this is really really bad let's improve this stat we have received a contained chaos spark so we're going to re-roll this gem. I'm going to re-roll the max health into critical damage. Now that is what we need as of now. There we go. We have received the Gemsly ally. We have gotten all of these juicy stuff. Let's just go on ahead and equip him to reach 5,000 power rank. And there we go. Now, it's going to ask us to find like 30 fire gem boxes. But I'm going to just leave this quest for now. What I'm going to do is we can now enter the Geode topside world, which is epic. So finally, 
we are now in the Geo top side. And what makes this so special is because we have the opportunity to craft some crystal items now. So what we're going to have to do is, of course, get the materials needed to craft one of these crystal stuff. I finally see uh, an ore cave, and this is where you want to go for a lot of viridium and a lot of nitro. Now, we can craft a crystal bow, so let's go ahead and craft that. We can now get rid of the melee that we once had and just equip this crystal bow. Now, we have got boomerangs, so we can throw like three boomerangs and stuff, which is nice. And we can use the big ass bomb once again. So that is epic. So I guess that's going to be it for day one of this brand new account. We are sitting at 5,796 power rank with um, total mastery rank of 14 with 13 trove mastery. So I think in the next episode, we will try our best to work towards hitting level 20 total mastery. And then we can probably try and sell some materials to make some flux and then buy some crystal ring boxes so that we can upgrade the rings that we currently have. Now, I will try to probably farm a little bit for the crystal hat and the crystal face. Maybe I might try my best to leech off of some people randomly in Uber 8 or whatnot. But for now, this is going to be the end of episode 1. Thank you guys so much for tuning in all the way until the end. And I will see you guys sometime soon in the next video. As usual, peace out.